I applied to eight master's programs, and I got into one, and then I dropped out. Wait, I need a bubbly. One sec, I need to grab a bubbly. You know, when my lighting's like this, um, it makes, you know, I think this looks really nice, uh, but it fla the background flashes, so I don't know, J fuck it, I guess, I'll deal with that. Yeah, basically, I, I did a bachelor's in fine art, and I dropped, <sighs> I didn't even want to finish the bachelor's in fine art, because it felt like a stupid fucking degree. Anything, okay, here's a big, big statement, right off the bat. Any university program that's not STEM is, is a waste of time. If it's not science, technology, engineering, mathematics, fuck it. Waste of goddamn time. Not useless, okay, fucking watch me here. Not useless. Like, sure, if you get a doctorate in psychology, good for you. You're probably gonna do some good shit in the world, but like, it's just, university is a product sold to us in the same way any product is sold to us through selling you a lifestyle okay if you look back the very first massively successful advertising program was for the marlboro and the Man. reason it was successful is because other commercials up until that point would sell you the product based on how good it was they would say like this product is fucking 10 times better than this one and blah, 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 you know and then marlboro man comes along and He's selling you a lifestyle. He's not selling you, he's not telling you why Marlboro cigarettes are better than Campbell's. He's selling you like, oh, you smoke Marlboro's, you're a motherfucker. And that's that. That's what he's selling you. And that's what university sells us, University man. sells you a lifestyle. It's like, oh, you go to university, one, you get smart, two, you get a good job, three, you're gonna fucking have sex and drink and hang the fuck out, and you're gonna go through all these magical experiences. And it's like, yeah, you might, but you could also do that not in university. It capitalizes on your fear of missing out. You're gonna miss out on that. You're 19. You're 19, you're gonna miss it on that. Go talk to real academics, man. Talk to people doing fucking, like, computer science. It's like, they don't, they don't want to party. You talk to doctors, people in medical science. That's the real shit. You're going there for a purpose. Back to the main thing. I'm in the bat. my computer just told me to go to sleep. I'm in the bachelor's program, and I didn't even want to fucking finish it. I like, I like, a, I like painting. I'm pretty good, but... My fuck, is it dumb to pay $40,000? I don't even know what I'm fucking getting at. Look, a bachelor's of fine art. You're buying the university product, and you're also buying the art school product, where you're special. Your ideas are more important than most people's ideas for some reason. You're in art school, and you can do whatever you want. And it's up to you, you forge your own path. Everything is good, okay? That's the thing too. It's not like there is no good or bad, ever because it's subjective, right? So everything is good. Here's the thing with being creative, man. Creativity is a risk. Being creative and going against the norm is a risk. And what do you risk? You risk being a fucking weirdo. So unless you really have the balls to make something new, you risk social suicide by even trying, right? And that's a little weird, but it's true. And most people, ooh, most people should not try to step outside the fucking line. Most people should just be like other people. That's harsh, but it's true. Most people should just be normal. 99% of people should just be normal. Because you don't, I'm sorry, you don't have what it fucking takes to step out. I don't. You think I, <laughs> I'm not talking from a high and mighty perspective here, like I'm better. I have no clue. I have no clue what's going on. So anyway, I finished the bachelor's program. And I didn't really want to, but it's like, by the time I really didn't like it anymore, I was like three years in, and I'm like, well, I got one year left. What, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking drop it now. Then it's, act then it's an actual waste of time. At least I have a fucking, uh, look, I got a degree. It doesn't say Seesaw Moses on it. It says my real name, which I'm gonna blur out because it's, it's kind of a goofy bit to have a fake name. I like that idea. <sighs> Come around to the pandemic, right? To the pandemic. I'm finishing up my degree, okay? Four years, I'm 22. And uh, what am I doing? I sell weed for a dispensary and I got a fuck ton of money and I have nothing I'm doing. I just got out of a four year relationship and all I'm doing is drinking and fucking going on Tinder dates and selling weed. <laughs> and I'm like, well, what the fuck am I gonna do with my life? Well, I'm gonna go do a master's degree. What else would I do, right? Oh, I'll just keep going. Cause that's the fucking third piece of the shit pie with university. You always feel like you're not good enough to do things on your own. That's like the nature of what you're taught. You're taught that like knowledge itself is so esoteric and so out of reach that you have to stay within the academic institution in order to 
fully understand it. I get to Ottawa, I move and I move to a different city to do the master's program. I'm like, this is dope, right? This is brand new, whole new experience. And I'm about two months into the master's program. I start waking up every day and I wake up at like 5 a.m. Like wake up at 5 a.m., go to the gym. You know, I'm on my like that girl shit. I just remember like hurting like waking up and feeling pain, like, like just complete mental anguish of like, I am wasting my fucking time. All I could think about was how much time I was wasting. It's another thing to be paying to waste your time and knowing every moment you're there, you could be doing something better with your life. Cause art, art is so fucking selfish and especially academic art is so selfish. It's predicated on the idea that and no one wants to say this. No one wants to say this in the in the art world, in the academic art world, because it's all about being a free spirit and it's all about wanting to do your own thing, but it's fucking not. Everybody is there with this idea in their head they're gonna be the next fucking uh, cause or the next John Michael, or <laughs> fucking John Michael Basket. That's a bit. <laughs> Jean-Michel Basqui. And everyone's there, they want to be that. They want to be famous, they want to be fucking rich because everyone there is a narcissist. I'm a narcissist and everyone there is a narcissist. So, I shouldn't say everyone's a narcissist. I, Sarah, if you're watching this, you're not a narcissist. You're the, you're, I really like you. You're really cool. <laughs> you're the coolest person I met in my entire academic career. Um, they just, it just takes so much cognitive dissonance. Like you walk in and you're like, no, art's important. And I don't care if I get famous. And I don't care if I make money. Like, nah, man, no. Not at all. You have to, it just, it takes like, you have to wear like fucking 10 masks. You know, you know that meme of the fucking like crying Wojak with all the masks in front of him? That's you, every day you walk into the studio. Anyway, shit story short, it just, I couldn't do it anymore. Very specific emotion, I think a lot of Gen Z people are gonna grasp here. It's not suicidal depression, it's not suicidal or depressive, it's like, I don't wanna be anywhere, right? And it's not like, I don't wanna die, it's like, I just don't wanna be anywhere. Like, I don't wanna go to school, I don't wanna stay home, I don't wanna fucking do anything. I just wanna be in like a different life for a day. I just wanna be somebody else for a day because my life is fucking unbearable. Sometimes I feel like I'm behind in life. Sometimes I feel like I'm ahead in life. It's hard to tell. You know, this whole idea about hard work, it's like you, could, you can do, you can throw your life away at the wrong thing, man. You can throw, you can, you can throw 20 years of your life away working at the wrong thing because it's stupid. And that's the other thing I was talking about before. Some people shouldn't take risks because they don't have the fucking gall. That's what I mean. I want to live my life as raw as possible and i don't mean pleasure seeking i don't mean like partying and doing drugs and 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 wasting my fucking time and dying i mean like every moment is raw and i like i i'm not holding anything back on what i say or what i think or what i want to do or what i want to get accomplished and that's the axiom of this channel is existential dread existentialism is that an, ex an existentialist lives life to the fucking max, as raw and as real as possible. There's no layer. It's just you in reality, and that's it, okay? Existential dread arises when you don't do that, when you wear a mask, when you live your life as if you are not you. You live your life as if you are society's idea of you or what you should be your university's idea of what you should be, or your friend's idea of what you should be. And that causes existential dread, because there's a part of you dying inside. And it's not your ego. It's the thing that knows that you're doing the wrong thing, and you're making the wrong decision. And I don't want to feel that ever again. I was waiting for the bus. I just started screaming fuck, like losing it. I was like looking at the sky going fuck, 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 because I just don't know what else to do. Because I was so frustrated with like what I was doing. I'm like, why? Am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And it's like that just like taking control, dropping out. It's great. It feels great, man. And then it's just like, I can do fucking anything. Fuck you. I can do anything. Fuck the green screen. Fuck scripts. Anything, man. Like if I want to con if I want, if I want to convey a nuanced idea, I'll write a fucking book. I love people. I love you. Fuck the God bless. Fuck the green screen. Fuck university. It's me and you now, baby. I'm as lost as you are. I'm like, I can't, I hate the information asymmetry of like me telling you something because I don't fucking know. I can barely keep the same goal in my head for more than eight hours because I do not know what to do. The world is so confused and it's like to try to be anything makes it a thousand times worse because all you do is have cognitive dissonance about the nature of how things actually are. My ideas, my fucking time, my game, we're doing it.
This isn't about making catchy fucking snappy edity shit where it's kind of funny and goofy and it's like, oh look, YouTube video. This is content. I'm not making that. Oh, me and you together, growing up together, going through our 20s, figuring it out. It's us. We're together in this. I love you. God bless. Have a wonderful evening.